hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna make some seafood loaded potato yeah so here i have some shrimp i already washed it it's clean and as you can see guys i slice my shrimp so that's what it look like so now i'm gonna season my shrimp now so these are all of my seasoning i've got garlic powder I've got black pepper, I've got Cajun seasoning, I've got smoked paprika, I've got some parsley and some all-purpose seasoning and it's one teaspoonful, okay? Make sure you blend all of your seasoning together because you want your seasoning to combine. So after you blend all of your seasoning together, you're just going to sprinkle it all over on your shrimp. And guys, do not use all of your seasoning. We're going to use the rest of the seasoning to make the sauce. So that's the amount of seasoning that's left. So now you're going to take your hands, or you can always use your gloves, and you're just going to massage your shrimp. Just make sure all the seasoning is all on your shrimp, okay? So my shrimp is all seasoning and that's what it look like. So now I'm going to cook it. You can always leave it to marinate. It's all up to you. So here I have a pot on the stove and to my pot I add at least two spoonful of butter. You want to make sure your stove is on a medium heat and then wait on your butter to melt, okay? So after your butter has melt, now you're going to add your shrimp. And you're going to allow your shrimp to cook, guys, for at least 1 to 2 minutes on each side, okay? Make sure you don't overcook your shrimp, okay? So now I'm going to quickly turn my shrimp. So my shrimp has finished. So now I'm going to remove it now. So these are all of my cheese that I'm going to use guys and as you can see I comment and I write the name of the cheese that I'm going to use okay. You can also use parmesan cheese yeah. And I'm also going to add some heavy cream that's around quarter cup of heavy cream yeah. So now I'm going to make my sauce. So here I have the same pot that I use to fry my shrimp. So I'm going to add some garlic, three cloves of garlic. And I grate my garlic, guys. You want to give it a stir. Make sure your stove is on a medium heat. Allow your garlic to brown for at least one minute, okay? So after your garlic has brown, you're going to add some water, but you're not going to add a lot of water, at least four to five spoonful of water. So after adding your water for two minutes, 
now you're gonna add your heavy cream give it a stir so now I'm adding my remaining seasoning that's left guys you can always taste your liking if it need any salt you can always add salt to it okay then you want to give it a stir after you had all of your seasoning so this is the fun part now I'm gonna add my cheese add the amount of cheese that you want I want mine to be nice and cheesy so I'm adding a lot of cheese <laughs> yeah then you want to give it a stir and make sure your stove is on a low heat because you don't want your cheese to burn trust me So my cheese has melt and as you can see it is nice and cheesy and that's exactly how I want it perfect so now I'm just gonna put it to the side guys or you can always leave it on your stove but leave it on a low 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 heat cuz now I'm gonna do my potato now so guys these are all my potato I'm using three big size potato and I'm gonna cook my potato in my microwave you can always cook it in your oven yeah and as you can see I'm poking my potato with a fork cuz I want when I cook it in the microwave it will cook more easier yeah so my potato been cooking in my microwave for at least 20 minutes guys or maybe over 20 minutes because I'm using three potato it's take a bit long but I don't mind because it comes out perfectly yeah so now I'm gonna cut my potato in two pieces yeah and guys be careful because it is hot yeah but I'm a tough girl I can bear it <laughs> but do be careful wait for it to cool yeah So you want to make sure you have a bowl because I'm going to scrape my potato in my bowl. And after you scrape it all out, you're just going to make sure you leave the peel on the side, okay? Because that's what I'm going to use to stuff my potato in, yeah. So after scraping all of my potato out, I'm gonna add at least one spoonful of butter and I'm gonna also add some mayonnaise, one spoonful of mayonnaise, yeah. Then I'm gonna also add my cheese, yeah, because I want it to be nice and cheesy. Oh, yeah. Give it a stir. So now I'm gonna add my melted cheese. Guys, just look at that. Mm mm mm. Just make sure you mix it all in, yeah.
I'm adding at least one teaspoonful of Cajun seasoning. Yeah. After you add it, you're just gonna give it a stir. Like so. So now I'm gonna stuff my potato. So just make sure you have a tray and make sure also you have a spoon so you can use your spoon and put the potato filling inside of the peel, okay? So you just take your time and you just do it, okay? So now I'm adding my shrimp. Just add the amount of shrimp that you like on the potato, okay? So after adding my shrimp, now I'm gonna add my sauce on top of my shrimp and all over on my potato also. Guys, it looking so good already. I cannot wait to dive in. Mm -mm -mm. Just look at that, absolutely delicious. So now I'm gonna add more cheese on top. Guys, I love cheese. Yeah, I do. So after adding your cheese, you're going to put it in your oven for 5 minutes and 150 degrees so your cheese can melt. Okay, no longer than that. So this is what it looks like. Guys, it tastes so, so, so good and it looks absolutely delicious. As you can see, I just sprinkled some parsley just on top. This is totally optional. Guys, please like this video, share. Until next time, bye.